YouTube. It's me, it's me, it's your favourite Steve. Um, no, I don't know. Um, having a bit of a chatty vlog today. Um, um, what was I going to say? What are you doing? Show my big fodder off. Was, we just had our parents' yeah, evening for the two kids. First one act. Um, Lysine reception and yeah, Liam um, Nursery. Nursery, so. Uh, I was going to talk about that, but um, what's that? we're watching the news, what's happening in London mm. today. Scary stuff. Like. Bad, really bad. Mm. Yeah, it's bad. Very scary stuff. Um, so the thing that really pissed me off when I was listening to it was one of the main reports on the news was the Prime Minister's safe. I couldn't give a shit. That was the last thing on the So you speed the Prime Minister away, but there's loads of kids that are in the Parliament building that they just left. It's <laughs> awful. And we've got to get this, out, we've got to get this, uh, part, this person that we've given power to. We've got to get her in the car and get her. Anyway, so I'll talk about that. But it was uh, very sad. Um, yeah, we went to school today, well, this evening. Um, went to see Lacey's teacher, um, and she's doing above and beyond she's what they expect. Where she needs to be and above. Yeah. yeah. So she's doing uh, she was saying really she's, well. Yeah, she's very popular. She already knew that because you can't walk anywhere in, in our area without a social butterfly. <laughs> so, yeah, that's blah blah. Yeah, that's blah blah. <laughs> she does make me laugh, bless her. So we knew that she'd be pretty popular in there. Because she's just cheeky, man. She's not cheeky. She's, 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 she's quirky. And she's feisty to me. She's um, sharp. She's <laughs> um, then we saw Liam's teacher mm. and um, mm. it was a bit sugar coated. Yeah, um, we know he's for the got for the new for the new subscribers um, mm. that don't know. And if you haven't looked on my past videos, um, our, our son's he's three and he's three. Do you want to explain? Yeah, he's three. got um, global development delay. Um, my area's been his speech and language is very delayed. Um, he's fine and gross motor. Um, he's got sensory processing problems or disorder. Um, so he doesn't feel in his thing. He doesn't feel pain as much as what he should when he's hurt. Um, he likes to squish things. He likes to be squished. He likes to be stretched and strange things like that to get his fix so me picking up a pen say something like that i know i'm holding a pen but he might not get the same thing yeah. from holding that pen that we it's, like it's can't really, really you quite for his age i remember when lace was his age mm. you could have a conversation yeah you, you can't can, don't be wrong I'll, I'll chat with him all, all the time yeah but you we, can't I've got kind have of a, a rapport with him but, and he um, can't tell you what's wrong with him sometimes either yeah. He and copies a lot of what he hears more. There's a lot of little else. things that obviously were were used to. Mm. Sensory. He's global development delay. Yeah, and he's been sent forward for like the autism panel. Under five is the ASD panel because yeah. he has got some social and yeah. um, other things going on. So it's all. There's a lot, lot there. There's a lot there and a lot of stuff that we're trying. Obviously, we, we don't. Because we we live with him, we deal we with him. We just deal with whatever it is, isn't it's, it? It's the same with Lice as well. Lice knows his little quirks and his little... Like I think she hit the nail on the head um, a while back. I can't mm. remember... Who who was it? I think it was a cousin, wasn't it? So, yeah, um, asked why is he doing that. Why is he doing that? And she... Lice, hit, it was like, just cause Yeah, he he her words were, that's what Liam does. Mm. And it was like, that, that's the way we deal with him. Mm. Well, that's what Liam does. It's not... It's not a thing that we see, but obviously when he's got to go to school and yeah. stuff like that, we know there's those, things going on. And we know there's things got go, going on, and he's not going to be as up to scratch with um, the other children. Mm. We They've said he's working at age eight to twenty months, I think. Yeah. He's, you know. So we we know that if you know what I mean, and we know that he's not going to be um, completely up to scratch with the other kids. 
Um, I can't remember what was my point there. You well, he's on about the teacher. Um, I know, but you always interrupt. I was about to say something. Sorry. You did ask me to talk about it. Yeah, I'm not. You always do this thing. We're talking. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not talking. I can't remember saying that. Yeah, so we. That was it. We. I'm not particularly bothered who becomes a mathematician or he writes a novel. I really couldn't care less. I know that he's got these delays and we'll deal with them as he gets older. Um, so when it comes to school, really, they keep asking us about targets and stuff mm. like that. I can't give a shit, to be quite honest. As long as he's, as long as he's happy mm. and he's at school and he's not stressed or anything like that mm. or stressed out or upset, I really couldn't care less if he, you know what I mean, if his education is up to scratch. Mm. Um, but the thing to know, was, it was a bit, we've had it a lot over the past, so how long have we been, probably about a year, it's, it's been about a year yeah. because it was yeah. when we were in our beef last year yeah. that we started to really notice. Click that something Click was completely that was something, yeah, off, yeah. Something was completely off. And, um, we, it's been like the same thing. I've just got kind of used to it. Like this thing where everybody goes, no, he's fine, he's fine. Oh, he'll catch up. He'll catch up and stuff like that. And it's like, we're not, we know I'm not good saying intentions that, there, Yeah, really, they know there's good, in, good intentions, but <laughs> like, we see where he has his stimming, where he does his little excitement dance. Yeah, he's dance dancing, or, he's flapping. Or he's grabbing my head and he's head put in my head, yeah, head to get some kind of sense of thing. Elbows your head or rubs your hair. my hair, he loves my hair. And stuff like that. So we see it like every day. We know mm. like, oh, he's just getting a little bit of a stimulant off us. So he's doing all, like when he's mm. climbing on me, or he's climbing, stuff like that. We know. Um, but like obviously people just try and make I don't hold it against people they mm. just try and go no he's fine he's normal he's like every other kid the one thing you don't expect is when you go to the school mm. and they do you so the thing like we went tonight and the teacher's kind of saying yeah he's doing great he's doing great which is I suppose know. maybe they don't have expectations of him so in their eyes they are but it's hard isn't yeah, it yeah but I it think. was the I think the one of the statements was yeah. it's just like the other kids. Yeah, and, and like it's like we know come he's on, not like, I'm neurotypical not... as they call it. You know. Yeah, it's the it's... we're not because that sounds bad from my point no, of view. No, no. I'm not. I'm not saying he's not like. I the don't other... care if he isn't. Yeah, but I know for his age. Yeah, he's not. He's not up to scratch. No. I know this. Not up to. Sc- not up to, not up to, not up to of... scratch. He's not. At l- working at the age you should be, or or they expect, or whatever. Yeah, he's, what, yeah, what he's they delayed. expect. You know what I mean? He's delayed. Yeah, he's delayed we, we know he's we know, delayed. Yeah. But it's kind of like you don't expect that from school. Yeah, you expect so them to. I thought we were going to go in there and have a conversation. Well, he's doing this, and we know we expect that. that this is the kind of conversation I was like. We know that he's not. You know, we know he's got his issues and stuff like that. You know, we're work, we're working on them, and well, not I'm not even saying they're working on mm. them like. You know, we take that into account for this and we take that into account for that. But you know, he's happy and he's interacting and stuff like that. So that's all fine. What we got to know was just basically, he's not the other kids. He's not for I'm like, and I was like saying to show I was walking out. I was like, hang on. This is anything. We went to them. Yeah, we told them before we he even told started them there. Before we even started, like, look, we know this. This is what's going on and he's... We already got the ball rolling and yeah. got him seen by all the different professionals. From, and from our point of view, was if he had to go to a specialist school, mm. then that was absolutely fine with us. Yeah. I'm really not. And bothered. it's still easy if that might happen in the future. Yeah, it could, it could happen in yeah. the future. But you know. I don't know. I was just kind of like, I was like really? Look, like, are we not past this? You get the impression that they're telling you what you want or the thing yeah. you want to hear. Whereas. But then it was also I got the impression mm-hmm. that it's like. Oh, you basically just leave the kids to yes. roam within just, a safe environment yeah. and you just make sure they don't stab and set fire to each other. Yeah. I'm guessing that's what maybe what nursery's about. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe it is, mm. but I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's just a little bit of a Maybe we expected too much of parents, <laughs> No, I just expected yeah. to have like a kind of 
a bit more in depth conversation. And more of a like kind of some like not how can I put I'm not saying like more of a conversation than the other parent. Yeah, no, but no. But a conversation where come on we're all adults in this yeah, room. Yeah, we know. We know what's what the situation is. We know what the situation mm. is. This isn't, but, but you, you, I think you hit the nail on the head. It makes you kind of think of are we putting this yeah. on? Are we? Are we? Um, are, are we, we being imagining over the top it? Of this? Are we but then we know that we're not in that. The specialists that he has seen. Yeah, the asked specialist. Us if they yeah. could refer him to the ISD mm. panel, um, and they actually see more. Oh, we didn't ask him to go to yeah. the ASD panel. And I think they it? see more of a thing than what we do because we just know it as, oh, it's just Liam, and we just deal with it, whereas they see that it's, no, he's very delayed or he's, they put him as having se- severe learning difficulties. Mm. That was like, oh, okay, you know, we know he's got his um, things going on, but wow. Um, but to us, it's just Liam, ain't it? And, yeah, yeah. You know, some of the times they ask you questions and you're like, yeah, he does do that, but I just thought that was well, Liam, just Liam, yeah. yeah. But obviously it's all, I don't know. It's obviously, as he's getting older, you're starting to, like, go, there's certain things where you go, oh, OK. Yeah. And people, yeah. when you're out and about, seem to notice more that, because he doesn't speak really, or a lot, yeah. um, people try and have conversations with him or say things to him and he'll look at them like, exactly. what? No. And he'll, yeah, he'll he growl at people or he'll start doing his sensory dancing mm. if he's excited. And people do look at him and he'll, like, scream and stuff. And it is hard because you don't want him to have this, you know, his meltdowns or temper tantrums or anything because he's very loud. And people do stare in the will, you know. But it, it's hard, isn't it, as well as to, to calm him down sometimes. Mm, but just... It's like... We just deal with it don't we and so it's some yeah, things it's, it's, it's like, the thing um, is look I don't yeah I know I, 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 it used to bother me now mm. I really couldn't care less what people think no I try not to think you're quite honest but I just think it was the thing with the school I was expecting mm. oh well these people have won a uh, you know what I mean they see him for three hours a day or four hours a day whatever it is and it's like they'll, they'll be on our level they'll, they'll, they'll yeah. blah, blah. you just kind of come out there going have we got this? Have we got a completely have, different child? Have we got this wrong? Yeah. Like, uh, it's strange. Is there anything wrong with him then? Mm-hmm. But then obviously you've got to look back at the experts and the experts are saying no, but maybe you need to go forward for this panel and blah, blah, blah. Mm. But anyway, I just thought give you an update on it. He's not, you know. I know, so I met with the educational psychologist Monday if I spoke about that. I don't know. No. And just... What was that? That was on Monday. Yeah, yeah, Monday. Because like, he might have to have one on one. They're applying for what's called an EHCP, which mm. is um, an education health care plan. So it means that any of his needs that he's got, like at the minute he needs his nappy changing and that's still like mm. today they phoned me from the school to ask for my permission to change his nappy because he pooed. Um, or I had to go in and change him. And they do that because generally you need two staff members because of all this child like mm. safeguarding and all that you need two staff members to change him um, but they wanted to know if I was happy for them to do it and I said yeah um, but at this AHCP will have in there his needs like his nappy changing and all this stuff and it will also hopefully give the school access to more funding to get like a one to one if he needs it or you know for so many hours a week or whatever yeah. um, which might benefit him as well so because he's got somebody then he that he's there purely for him and he can depend on and rely on and, mm. you know, build up his trust with that kind of thing. But So she's, yeah, the educational psychologist is doing all that for the EHCP referral because that has to go to a panel as well for them to decide if he can have an EHCP. Um, and then the, it's gone to the ISD as well. She said it'll be used for that, so... I think I think also the, there was another thing you said when we were coming back mm. is... I think we've got to take into account they probably see like kids like Liam every year or whatever. Yeah, and there's children <laughs> like who were probably worse than yeah. um, you know, in some respects and so maybe to them it's nothing. I think it was the other thing that the teacher said where I was like going, Are you really meant to be Oh should yeah. you really be saying that to us? And she went, you know, like she before went, we started before we started we would 
dreading it and worried. We were really stressed about really how he was going to be. Really stressed about was going to be. But, you know, he's been fine. I was like... Okay. okay. My child caused you stress before yeah, you even started yeah, the school. Because, so, like, so all hmm. these bullshit meetings are having me. You were, like, going... <laughs> No, he's don't worry about it, Mum. Don't, don't worry about, about it, Dad. It, it wasn't so you'd have like, oh my god. Liam's coming, Liam's, Liam's coming. coming. Shit. <laughs> I'll die in a barrier. <laughs> so yeah, it is um, yeah. I don't know. The thing that made me laugh today though was when they they called us both, didn't they? On our phones and I'd missed a call because I was on reception at work and then they called Steve and then Steve was ringing me and I was like, something's wrong. So I quickly answered the phone yeah, and he said, and oh yeah, we tried to ring, yeah. yeah. And um, so then I called them back and they said, oh yeah, it's, um, Liam's had an accident. And I was like thinking, oh my God, thinking of all sorts of things in his nappy. And I'm like, phew. <laughs> it was the longest gap um, in the world. Yeah, it's like the longest gap. He's, He's had, had an, an accident. accident. And I'm like, oh shit, thinking in my head, ah, in his nappy. Oh my God. <laughs> um, and they just wanted to know if they could change him. I was like, yeah, I'm happy for you to do that if you know if you can. If you can't, then I'll you know try and sort and get out of work and pop well, over. Really, well, I think one <laughs> of my goals up. with this with Reason is that I want to get Shell out of work. I really do because it's it'd be so much less fucking stress. But what about when he goes to school? What will I do? You can package the stuff. Oh, yeah, that would be my job. You can employ me. Yeah, package your shit. Anyway, <laughs> can't pay. New, can't pay, we'll take it away. Well, can't pay, we'll take it away, so He's we've on. got to go. So. And after that, the big benefits handout. Are you watching Whoopee. that as well? I think it's on record. Yeah. And I've just recorded GP's behind closed doors. I love Channel 5. It's Channel full 5 of is shit. quality, it's just full of Even shit. Even on a weekend, and we're staying in, it's raining. The kids, like, yeah, I'm kids, do you want to watch your tablet for an hour yeah. while we watch shit, can't pay, we or watch, like, can't pay not men neighbours from hell. <laughs> not, yeah, not men neighbours from hell. <laughs> They're going to stab each other and stuff. Fuck it out. Yes. We're so sad. Oh God! Sitting here with our judges. We eyes. love you, Channel Five. Anyway, <laughs> peace out. Stay safe. Bye bye. Stay beautiful. Adios. Of anything. Ciao. You need to work. You need to work on your. I need more languages. You no, know, you need to work on your entrances. No, I need more languages. Goodbye. No, that's my goodbye in different languages. Okay. See you later. <laughs>